Earlier today, I was on the conversation with these guys that were talking about this AI. Now, we've been using this service for a while just to do our search, our search engine inside of our site. But as I'm looking through what is really there, because the developers are just using it for search, and I'm reading all these things that this new service has, like, created, right? And what it creates is this extreme relevancy. Now, I think that when somebody says they're using AI, this becomes like the buzzword these days for companies to try to enlist more clients because technically AI is nothing like what we think that it is. It's another, oh my goodness, there's something to worry about when really it's the, 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 the people's hands that the AI is in. You know, so it's like, we lived through already two, three, four years of looking at this AI like it's going to be the end of the world. But really, it's the people that are using the AI that is really the concern. The AI by itself can still do almost nothing if it doesn't have a data set to start training it. You see what I mean? And so what I started conceiving is, is that, well, why don't we train this thing everything that I know? And so that it can make sense of that to people so that way it could give them exactly what they need. Because what I have to do and what a large chunk of my day is spent on doing is creating content that I know is going to, to be the best content that I could deliver for the moment to give everyone the greatest level of benefit and impact on their life. I literally do this every day. I, and if, if I can't find nothing, nothing goes out. And now when I'm looking at all of the stuff that we have, that becomes the big issue. It'd be like, there's so much. And I'm like, well, that, that would be good for a person at that stage, but not kind of like where we're at right now. I don't think anybody's ready to hear this again, like on a, on a public scale or a global scale inside of the site. I'd say the global scale and cosmic scale inside of our site. So what this thing is capable of doing is, is it's capable of looking at the integers that we've already given it, like, the etiology number, the interests, things that when you see them or others see them, that they focus on a little bit more. And then all it does is out of billions of word, which is like the captions in all of our videos, all of these products that we have, all of these different conscious videos, it's just saying as of today, where you're at right now, based on these integers, which we have, this is the best thing for you, not for all of the other members, but for you. So to me, that's an excellent use of artificial intelligence. And then I deploy that. I don't waste as much time trying to figure out how I'm going to get something unique for everybody. Something's already serving that up. And I can focus more on the personal experience of how we're going to end up transmuting what we've developed so far into, as me and Dominic were talking about, first of all, we need to start with the, the implementations of the basics in people's homes together, right? And then from there, we need to start, instead, of, we're, we're still playing this checkers, like I'm sitting back here, right? So I know all of these things and I've seen a lot of stuff and I have quite a few people that are with me. However, I can see where we need to go to a whole nother level if we're gonna make a real impact here. So sometimes I have to look at it, it's like, okay, well, there's this technology thing, right? And they have a lot of people caught into that. In fact, technology has replaced spirituality. Let's just say it like it is. On the bigger scope of things, they've replaced their spirituality with technology. Their chi is now computer chips, right? So if we're going to take the Nebuchadnezzar and we're going to dive back into the matrix, it's almost like we would have to dive into that sector and grab those people from there from a transition of what they're using to something that's even supposed to be more graduated that they are more graduated than what they're using now right so watch this this is what i have to deal with because i'm not giving up on the whole thing like i don't care like for me i'm good I'm, I'm, I don't have anything to worry about. Like my, my thing is already spoken for. I already know where I'm going. I've already been there before. So my whole thing is just going to be to totally immerse in the, what do I need to do to take the reality out of this crazy tailspin of what's written in the stars now and change the story for humanity? What can I do? And I always, when I, when I start thinking like that, just so you understand my process of thought as a mentor, I see like this closet full of costumes 
which are all these different roles that you can play. And if you could play it to the bone, you would get a result. It's like, let's say a star or an actor, the best stars and actors, they can play their role to the bone and they can get people even to the point where they actually believe that that role is serious and then they make changes based on that role. So sometimes when I see that cabinet of costumes there and I see this technological world, I say, you know what? I can go right into this technical, this technical world and blow open their entire framework with spiritual AI. It answers all of the real problems. You got to think about even when you're showing things to people. Now, it's not even enough to just talk about this, right? Like, look, I, I look like this. We got this going on in the background. This is pretty much the static thing that we deal with, right? But every time they're ready to tell somebody about something going on in reality, they do a commercial, right? And then they get the lights all together. The fog be coming through. They get a couple actors. They get a narrator. They say the story. And in three minutes, they're done. And if that, like a Super Bowl commercial, is good enough, people start thinking like that. <laughs> and, 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 and that becomes a part of their reality. But see, where the, where the conscious community, quote unquote, is, is they can't even, they feel like they're stooping to a level when they would even go and try to create like a video that would introduce a different concept than where we're at already. I'm not interested in staying where I'm at. <laughs> I'm interested in where we can go with this. I, like I said, I see the reality in like stuck, basically. I see so many people still in this fake dogmatic straitjacket. And then I also see the capitalizers where they're like, good, we got them in the pen. We got all the chattel inside the pen. We could just do one thing and they're going to give themselves to us. Like all we got to do is remove their money. All we got to do is turn off their damn internet. We're so sensitive right now. We're vulnerable. And I don't feel comfortable with that. 